Hi and welcome to Connemara Shooter. Um, today I'm going to be working with my Lumar Scirocco, I think it's how to pronounce that, um, 12 gauge over and under and what I'm planning to do is re-blue the barrel. Um, she's a beautiful gun, like I said, um, I think I've mentioned before, Le Maire, um is Italian. Um, they stopped making uh, guns in uh, 1995, I believe. And um, like I said, I just love, I didn't pay too much for this gun, but um, I just want to uh, rejuvenate it as much as I can because they are a beautiful gun. And uh, I've never heard any anyone say anything bad about them. And uh, this is my clay shooting gun. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to be using to re-blue the barrel is a Birchwood KC Perma Blue. Uh, this is a kit I got. Um, this has the uh, uh, gunstock finish kit in it as well. Um, I got the two together, but um, uh, I might redo the stock again, but at the moment I'm probably not going to do it. But um, it was working out cheaper to buy the two kits together. So, um, okay, uh, what's in this kit? Uh, what's in this kit is the Dulux Perma Blue Liquid Gun Blue and True Oil Stock Finish Kit. Uh, the kit includes uh, Perma Blue Liquid Gun Blue, that's for re-bluing obviously the barrel, and um, it has the uh, True Oil Gun Stock Finish Kit, uh, we won't be using that. Uh, it has a gun degreaser, it has um, blue and rust remover, and it has a service cloth, bluing applicators, uh, barricade, wipes, uh, and uh, complete instruction guide. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick uh, close-up of uh, the gun and to show you the kit as well. Um, just because you might be able to see it there just how much uh, the blue has gone off this gun and how much of the, the uh, metal work is showing. Now it's well oiled up by me so it's not rusty. Um, but uh, I'll have to do that uh, maybe under a strong light so you can see it better. I'm just going to use kitchen towel on this first because uh, I just want to get the majority of the grease off. And uh, paper is always good for soaking up oil. <laughs> It's, it says poison on it, so you wear gloves. Plus the second reason is uh, you don't want to get fingerprints on this when you're doing the bluing. Now obviously you're going to have grease around these parts anyway because that's the bit you're all going to enclose and as you're reloading. And uh, it's always a good idea to have that well greased up. really 
PC when you take off the, the oil off the gun that I had on it, you can really see the why it needs reblowing. Apart from that, I mean, the, the gun is perfect. Okay guys, next thing you need is a sponge, you know these are, I think they're called scotch pad, sorry, scotch pad. Um, you wet it. Um, but, <laughs> just in case you're wondering, the bathtub is just the other side here. And uh, I'm just going to be reaching in and rinsing the stuff. Now you're going to be using your degreaser next. Um, you're going to use your wet sponge. And you're just going to pour it on the sponge. I'm just cleaning off all the grease off the gun. As good as I can. to get every bit off it. Now you can't see me doing this but I'm rinsing this under a tap in a bathtub that's just next to me here. Um, I'm just going to dry that off with a damp, with a towel, uh, tea towel, an old tea towel. Not my wife's uh, finest tea towels. <laughs> now, next thing is, sorry, is the blue remover. Um, you're going to get these applicators with it. So, this is for rust and it will remove the rust and the blue. So, your gun is going to be a different going to be basically metal when you've done this. Okay, so now that it's soaked a bit, uh, we're going to run it under the tap and get off all the excess of it. Now after giving it a good rinse under the tap and a scrub with the scotch pad, as you can see the barrel now is pretty much back to normal. Now, if you're looking for a fine finish on this, like a not too dark a finish, you're going to have to sand it down a bit to get the, the last impurities out of it. Of course, uh, I'm going to finish this with a dark colour, so I'm not too concerned. And I'm just going to dry that off. Now, you are going to have to reapply the, re the degreaser. Remover. Get our degreaser, get our sponge. Our damp sponge, remember. Put your degreaser on it. Just as you did before, you put the rust remover on it and you give that a good cleaning. Remember now to keep the gloves on, you don't want fingerprints on this because it will affect the blueing because there's oil in your hands. Now, when you have that done, give it a rinse under the tap again.
the drying to it afterwards. Now, the next thing is your perma blue, and you're going to be putting that on with an applicator. One of these yolks. Now, it said you should do this in uh, segments. Um, you can always, and don't leave it on too long. So, do it in segments. Um, Wash it off, repeat, and uh, stop when you have your desired colour. Now I'm going to go pretty black dark with this, because that's what I want. So. clean one of these applicators. Just continue on with the perma blue. our final blue I've put on it here now I'm going to rinse this and we're going to use the barricade cloth and wipe all areas with this uh, smells like a spirit so absolutely make sure you get everywhere Now, oh, and you leave that to cure overnight. And that's, that's pretty much that. Uh, go and have a look again in the morning. And here it is, the, um, my finished Lumaire, um, Scirocco. And uh, I think it came out pretty okay. Um, this is my first time bluing a gun, so I'm sure I'll only get better as time goes on. Um, what I will say is, um, I don't think you're ever going to get it that it's 100% looking like a brand new barrel. Because, um, uh, basically I think because a, a used barrel is always going to have a certain amount of pitting in it and that. And when you're applying the perma blue, which is basically rust, it's high speed rust. Um, it's always going to uh, decide to maybe do patterns differently, like, but, um, and you might have to redo bits and pieces of it. Um, uh, what I will say is uh, stick to the guidelines of don't leave it on more than 60 seconds. And um, because uh, what you'll find is you'll have bits of rust appear, uh, actual rust. And uh, what else would I say? Um, this would have been probably easier with a rifle barrel, I'd say, um, because there was n less nooks and crannies, um, which you find can be a bit troublesome. Uh, but apart from that, uh, happy enough with it. Um, grand, it's, it's way, way, way better than what it was anyway. Oh, and I'd also like to give a shout out to uh, Tom Kelly Guns um, in Latterdane in uh, Ballinair Mayo, uh, who sold me the Scirocco at a great cost, price, 
And um, I say love the way now it's turned out for me. Okay, um, okay, so that's uh, about that. Um, if you like the video, uh, by all means, please subscribe. Um, it helps us out knowing. And um, that's about all for now. And I hope to be back with some more videos of interest. And um, have a good day. Okay.